We have six matches. One of them is only serving as a PSA. So I was going to make a PSA with this one because they said that there was a recruit in their match and they said they think that's cheating. And I was going to go on a whole spiel about how playing recruit is not cheating, but no one played recruit in this entire match. So I don't know what the fuck this person is talking about. Well, I guess that first one was a wash. We're not going to even look at that one. Now, the second one is going to face a very similar issue where the person didn't include um, the names. They left it blank. So, I guess we'll just have to go through and try to find out who the cheater is. A special episode of Hacker Replay. Oh, this is the 50th episode, so yeah, this is special. We gotta try to find out who it is. Okay, well, I know it's King Kyle who submitted it. Because their name was Kyle in the document. That means it's someone on the enemy team. And based on how fast the round is going... Prep phase isn't even over, and we're already reaching halfway. It means that they probably do have a blatant cheater. I'm gonna assume I'm get banned. Yeah, I think this is a safe bet based off the name and the fact that they just tried to shoot someone through a wall. Maybe this person too. That wasn't necessarily suspicious. That one very blatant. So, what I want us to watch is when the submitter is on attack. I just want to see if this guy's cheating. Wait, what is that uniform? Hold on. Is that a thing? Is that a new uniform? I've never seen that before. Can't tell if that's an aim down sight or hip fire. The premium year pass? Oh, I never actually saw what it looked like. I only ever saw the little the thumbnail of Ash standing there. That was a nice uniform. Okay, so we'll go over to when they swap sides. The cheat that they had mentioned in the document that I really want to see, see if it's possible, is apparently that they can shoot through the shields. Like the shields do not block any bullets. Oh, what? I just love Dex, bro. They can do stuff outside during prep phase. Uh. Huh. Well, that is 100% a new cheat. If the other one isn't, this is. I don't know if he's shooting through the shield there, or if it's because he can melee. I actually can't tell. Oh, and the other one's spin botting. <laughs> Classic. Ooh. Thank you. Hey, he made me a sandwich. I've, I've never seen someone throw stuff outside during the prep phase, though. That is... How is that even possible? Is he tr oh, he's trying to get outside right now. Huh?
Is it too clickbaity if I call it this hacker can go outside during prep phase? I'm waiting for him to teleport because this is the very this is very similar to what it looked like before when people had teleporting hacks. Okay, so yeah, I don't think he's actually shooting through the shield. I think he can just melee from a million miles away and then hit their leg when it shows for a millisecond. Nice little deployable shield action. Hmm. All right. Well, I think I'll call it. They can go outside during prep phase. What was it? I'm get banned. Pretty sure they. Oh, they have not been banned. And they did play with the other sheeter. Makes sense. This person did not get banned yet Just either. Hmm. Well, that is a new one. I has anyone else ever seen that? Is this a first? Like I, I have seen people try to teleport stuff, but that was a long time ago. But I've never seen someone get outside during prep phase while on defense. I don't think I don't think I've ever seen that. So new cheat, I guess, discovered today, and that was only played two days ago. So it's pretty new. You know what's not new but still worth talking about is my charm that's still available throughout year 7. All you have to do is sub to my Twitch channel which you can do for free with Twitch Prime. Once you get the charm it'll reduce the amount of hackers you run into, I promise. Now we're going to move on to I guess some more, hopefully more non-crazy stuff. Uh, we have Frank who's accusing Jin's cool. I think he's trying to look up Alibi. You creepy bastard. Hmm. Hmm. I just love Dex, bro. Best Hold Rainbow on. Six content on the internet. That is true. I am the best. Thanks for three months, Moshi. That could be a, uh, you know, bug, spectator bug, but based on lining this up already, I'm going to say I think they might just be a champion player. Personally, I don't see enough evidence, and see, they even died. I don't see enough evidence to suggest that they would even be cheating. It's very, very hard to tell. This went to eight rounds? Hold on. How does a blatant cheater like that go to eight rounds? That's what I want to know. I'm going to guess that they probably are new to cheating, and they don't understand how it works. Because he... I've noticed that a lot... And it seems like it's a fairly common among new cheaters is that they don't know how to uh, well, cheat. So they will just kind of walk around trying to shoot, realize that they don't realize they're out of ammo and they just kind of stand there staring at the person. Okay, well, he doesn't have recoil cheats. We won't watch all eight rounds. But mainly just curious as to how he loses this. Because he has hit scan. How do they go to overtime? What? Speed hacks too. Did he? I guess. Is this? I, I can't tell. Yeah. Yeah. 
He's moving at like twice the speed. Or the animation's twice the speed, but I don't think he's actually moving as fast as it looks. I think he's probably just moving at three speed. Okay, so how do they go to overtime? So they all team kill him. That's how. And then I assume he just keeps going blatant and then wins the match for them because they can't team kill anymore. Is this on uh, Asian servers, by the way? Because uh, the symbols are all like arrowed out, and I assume it's probably because they're trying to like they're it's trying to show Japanese or maybe Cantonese symbols. Oh my God, when oh that's weird. One sec, never seen this before. So he reloads. He shot 30 bullets when he only shot twice. Like, look at look at how many bullets he has here. So he reloads. He's at 30. He, right there, he just shot 17. Each bullet is like 13 bullets. Which is why he keeps running out. Why, why is... Hold on. This team is throwing, but they're still trying? If you're team killing the cheater, then you just let the enemy team win. Ashbuff can add a hand up. <laughs> Faster than the flash. Faster than you in bed. <laughs> God. That's also interesting. I don't think I've ever actually seen that, where uh, they can shoot that many bullets. Look at how fast. Okay, I can notice a lot more with the Chanka. See, this is normal though. He's shooting and only shoots like one or two bullets. No way he... He has... How does this thing shoot bullets? That's what I want to know. I really do hope he actually ends up losing, but we all know he doesn't. Hmm. So, whatever hack they're using, it shoots bullets, but not from their actual gun. Because he has to have ammo to trigger it, to actually shoot. But, if he... Like, when he's shooting like this, it doesn't actually use any ammo. But then if he chooses to shoot himself, it shoots like 17 bullets in one millisecond. So... I feel like the only way Ubisoft could fix this is that if every single shot that lands has to be registered to like when the person, or to a person who shot it and make sure ammo actually comes out of their magazine, which would be a lot. Basically you have to track every single bullet. Which they already technically do, but like... I just love dicks. Track it on a deeper scale. So they end up winning. But interesting. Two two things I have never seen before seen today. Just uh, you know, a 9.25 KD in casual. God damn. Like I understand that stat tracking or stat banning shouldn't necessarily be their default go-to, but like in what world does someone get a 9.25 KD? And they're like, "Yep, that's good." And that was over five matches. Not even just like one. Uh, Alright, well. Next match. Canal. We have Press W Dude, who's accusing Urchin looking motherfucker. This is another overtime match. But hopefully, one that's not obvious. Sub Shadow. Would it be weird for someone who's bronze in a season to get gold in the next one? No. I would say it's only weird if you go from like bronze to diamond. Even bronze to plot isn't that bad. Why 
I don't know why I didn't fast forward. I'm so dumb. I think that ADS there is not a good idea, but I guess it protects the bullet eye or bullet eye bullet proof. Did I already do the other one right? I don't remember. I just have an order that I go in and list and this was the next one. I really need to utilize the two times speed more. It's a very common angle for people to hold, so it's not crazy that he would pre-fire the guy. The only thing I find weird there is that his aim was so bizarre looking over at whoever that was by the window. I just kind of like looked the wrong side and then t looked over to the left and shot. I guess you can make the argument they're holding the hallway in case they pushed in, but... Hmm. Their movement seems so bot-like, but their aim seems really good. And right here... It seems like they know what they were doing right there was bad, standing out in the open and holding a different angle, but they chose to do it maybe as a, a way of being like, oh yeah, I'm legit. Ace in the first round. I will say that the, uh, why am I not two times in? Goddamn. The enemy team didn't look that great, so. Chances are. Could be a smurf. Or is... This actually might be unranked. I can't remember. I think it is unranked, so... Skill disparity is bound to happen. <clears throat> okay, we finally are about to get some action. Line that up horribly. Teammate just died, makes sense. What I find strange in this situation here is Jaeger leaves the Osa to go upstairs and kill Fuse, right? That's normal. Comes back down. In this situation, would you guys naturally aim to the right side of the window or the left side? Personally, maybe my decision making is worse than this guy, I would aim at the left because Osa was on the left side of the window. But instead, Jaeger walks down the stairs and immediately aims at the right side waiting for the osa to peek doesn't even look at the left side because like we can watch here osa was already on the right side of the window not being visible before jaeger could even really see anything and then actually i guess he could see there Never mind. one sec how long would this be in real time There's a quick peek, does see that Osa's not there. But you can still, I think you can still hide there, right? Like she still could be here. He just immediately assumes she's on the right side. I guess that's like half fair. If you know for sure that no one's on the left somehow, but that does seem a little weird to me to just immediately assume. The fact that they didn't die there is also very telling of what rank the enemy team 
appears to be. No one's over here? Oh. Well, that's good for this guy, at least. Because that means that he's now watching somewhere where no one is. Are they all over here? Oh, one did spawn over there, but didn't go on the rappel. Oh, there's the lasers again. <laughs> God, it looks so dumb. I just love decks, bro. They're so lit. I think you could hear the footsteps of the Maverick above, which I think is what the alibi is hearing now, or was hearing there. That's Ash running up. Not gonna lie, that aim was pretty fucking garbage from the alibi. Right? They would be able to hear a decent amount. So, like, what's that? I know about that angle, and I understand that she'd be able to hear the Maverick running. It still seems a little weird to be ready to hold the angle, expecting him to peek it. But I can understand how they would have come to that conclusion. Because, like, I've used that angle to kill people on that staircase. And this is probably coincidental, but he did flick to the twitch through the wall. I'm assuming sheer coincidence. Dex, since it wasn't directly on them. But it was very close. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Oh, it's Lilty, not Lit, sorry. And also, uh, okay ways with the sub. So they're up 3-0, and this match goes to overtime. Okay. There's nothing worse than trying to rush as Nook and having a loud Zofia or Ash with you. Because they just make all the noise in the world. Gonna do anything? Okay, there we go. Let me just make sure that rook was inside the server, right? That wasn't on the other side of the wall. Yeah, he is. Don't know how they didn't kill them. They did line up the Thunderbird, I think that is, through the wall, but like not perfectly. So I think it might have just been shitty aim that just happened to line up. Watching their back, even though I'm pretty sure all three are on site, yeah. After this match, if we don't find anything super evident of cheating, which so far we haven't really, it's just been one really good player. We'll look at the rank disparity. And then see. That's now the second time that he's aimed at the Thunderbird behind the half wall. Keeps watching his back though. We know he doesn't clutch this, because they keep playing after. Some of the, like, 
aims have been slightly weird, but most of them seem pretty fine. <clears throat> like, there's some decisions he makes, or that they do in general, that I'm like, okay, they should be legit. But then other ones are like, hmm, I don't know about that. Can we get to a real hacker game? Willow, if you've watched any of my videos, you should know by now the answer to that. Just because someone isn't cheating in this round does not mean they don't cheat later. You of all people, since you clearly know about this show, should know that we've had episodes where the person didn't hack until the very last kill on the last round. So no, we don't skip matches. If you don't like that, get the fuck out. We watch them all the way through to make sure nothing happens. It does feel like that brag. It does feel like they're just better ranked, but you never know. We said that about the Ash on Consulate, who did not do anything suspicious until the very last round where they very blatantly tracked someone through the wall and headshot them when they were the last person left. Shit happens. I've always wanted to pull off that strap, but I never have been able to. Even his team doesn't seem that good. Three and two, three and four, one and five, one and three. They have a combined, uh, 8 and 15. Or 14. Meanwhile, he's 13 and 1. Am I dumb for thinking that you should hit that with your hammer instead of your knife? Yeah, his movement's very weird. I mean, even before... He pushes anyone. Like, it's very bizarre how they're moving, but. Huh? Has this guy even droned yet? Don't think so. He lost a drone. So during prep phase, he did, but. I think during action phase, that was the first time I saw him hop on drones. He just immediately hopped off. Okay, first time on a drone. Right? I'm pretty sure. I was looking a bit too far to the left and then flicked over to the right. How did a Monty die to a thorn gadget? Got flanked by the cab, and I just noticed the three Thunderbirds sitting on top of one another. <clears throat> yeah, we got two more rounds to watch, but I'm gonna assume that this is just a skill disparity. Doesn't drone at all during the action phase here. But this is probably very similar to what it would look like if I actually tried on my Smurf accounts. But I don't, because that's not fun. I try to just have fun. But some people don't care. Like when I, uh, when I was trying to get the castle video. And I hopped in the accounts that had never played unranked before, and I was playing in copper unranked. Those were some of the weirdest and funniest matches ever, because half the enemy, or even my team, doesn't even know what's going on. What's the next rank guessing again? Um, I have a video already 
like ready for next week, but the next stream, I don't know. I don't want to upload the Guess Your Rank too often because I feel like people are going to get tired of it. Like, people are already kind of getting tired of Hacker Replay. It's really popular now on TikTok and Shorts. People are loving it. I never uploaded it to that before, but people are loving it now. Otherwise, it was kind of getting less and less popular. Why does he... Okay, why does he do stuff like that? It looks like he's just tabbed out for like 10 seconds at a time. And he does that all the time. He just walks up to a door and just stares at it. You know where Cav is? Doesn't look like it. Almost walked into that frost mat that's right next to me. What are these mirrors? Also the frost man. Mom is probably talking to him. Maybe. I think this was unranked, so it doesn't really uh doesn't really matter. No one on his team is on drones and he's constantly flicking back and forth between bridge and server. I kind of ran into that. Like, their movement and aim there doesn't feel like a high rank, but I'm sure that if I, uh... Oh, what? Three people are already dead. What the fuck happened? What? That does say a lot about the enemy team, that Osa. Hmm. Yeah, unless like one of their next kills here is just, oh, oh, it's just crazy. I, I don't think we got anything. I don't think we got a case. <coughs> I mean, it, it doesn't really surprise me, like, if you are a, a lower rank player and someone drops, right now, 17 kills against you, I would be suspicious, too. 18 kills now. Last one's on the roof, and I don't think they know that at all. The person gonna do anything? Bro. He dies. Okay. Well, three hundred one plot, maybe gold player. They are in diamond elo for casual, though. I feel like the enemy team was significantly worse than that. Uh, they were playing with their friend WASD Fighter, who is a new account and has a 0 0.4 KD. Okay, so I think I know what happened. So WASD Fighter... Or WASD FGH... ER, whatever the fuck that name is. So that is their new friend. Their friends who's not that good at the game. So they queued with them into unranked. And because unranked is usually a team cumulative uh I just love decks, bro. They're called ELO. Their teammate probably has, yep, a silver ELO. Which probably means that they just got a super, super easy uh unranked lobby. Now let's see what's on the enemy team, what their level is. We'll look up like Twisted Echo and press W, dude. You got a sample size. Twisted Echo. Gold and casual. Overall bronze player, maybe. 
Brass W, dude. Platinum and casual, but gold overall. Well, it looked like overall probably a platinum player playing against what was realistically gold or lower teammates. Because those look like the best two, I think, on their team. And the others were way worse, so. Probably just having fun with a friend and he decided to sweat instead of uh, teaching him anything. It happens. This one from Bwop, who's accusing zombie... Bro, don't tell me they submitted the wrong match. Hello. We move on. That's now two matches where someone submitted the wrong thing. Okay, so this is going to be the last match of the stream. And in this match we have... Uh, it's Killer 12, Big Easy, and Voke 17. Those are the three who are accusing loyalty. This is a nine round match. Motherfucker just picked up an invisible drone. Hacking. Calling it right here. Last stream ever. Group. I just love decks, bro. Jaeger was outside and the zero didn't swing on that. I'm surprised. What is going on here? Such a weird uh, playstyle so far. Okay. He knew the Mozzie was there because Mozzie just killed someone, but didn't know the Vigil was there. Vigil, I guess, just assumed he would go the other way. I thought he was actually about to hit the Syria gate. Uh, thanks for sub low life. Wait, was the wall open? No. They don't even have a hard creature. Based off the name, loyalty with no extra things, it might be an I instead of an L. I was going to assume that this has to be like platinum elo. But after a few more surveys, I have to say that this is probably gold or below. I don't know why he's like full auto firing. Now he's tap firing. He also has hard breach devices. He could have easily breached the garage or the vault there. Died to the front angle. Well, we'll see. This is high rank shit. They also had three people holding aviator. I'm just saying, basically, like, I don't think I've ever seen someone in high rank, use a zero cam, and then immediately shock someone. Like, they never use the shock because it's always better to have that as intel rather than doing a little bit of damage. But maybe they just assumed it would get destroyed anyways. I, I don't know. Ranked or unranked match? I think this was ranked? I don't remember now. What's he aiming at? I'll explain why I find this a little bit weird or suspicious. Is okay. So instead of peeking the door, he's peeking, but he's aiming at this. What this reads to me as someone who has seen a lot of these is 
Yes, their aim is here, but the person is looking over here. They're looking at the person away from their aim and they don't notice where their aim is. Because that's what we see a lot with hackers is that they kind of drift and look aimlessly because they're actually looking at people through walls. So instead of like peeking, he's just holding a random angle at a TV on the other side of the room, which does nothing. And then instead of swinging or doing anything, it's like, oh, time to shoot a camera randomly and then doesn't hop on it. It's like, oh, yep, someone shot it they know someone's in there. That's kind of the thought process that I would assume a cheater is going through. Now, could it all be legit? Yes, but that is uh, kind of the history of how we've seen other cheaters cheat. His aim's not good. It just seems weird why they're staring at random nothingness and then still getting kills. While I understand that you would be able to maybe hear a little bit of alibi there, this is kind of the stuff I'm talking about is like, they're just kind of staring at nothing, and it feels like they're just kind of staring at the person through the wall. Hmm. Milk talks. Oh God. This is something that a bunch of you horny motherfuckers in chat will probably relate to, that Priest told me about. He's like, oh yeah, there's this trend on TikTok, but it's not TikToks, it's TikTok Live. He said where girls will lay on their bed and bounce while they read books or something. So it looks like they're getting pounded. They obviously have clothes on, but they just look like they're getting pounded while they... Oh, he died. While they read a book or something, and then they just have thousands of viewers. I've never seen or heard of that until he told me, and then he's like, it exists. No one else knew what he was talking about until he talked to Sykes, who is like the horniest motherfucker I've ever met, so. They're on the same level. Sounds like he's down bad. Uh, Priest is down pretty bad. You didn't know. I didn't. I don't watch TikTok. I'll sometimes watch uh, Instagram Reels whenever me and Annie are just like bored and have nothing to do. We'll just watch Reels. You'd be able to hear them walk up the stairs there, right? Because they were standing and I think they sprinted. Okay, well that lined up perfectly, but... I think we can assume that that was just a sheer coincidence. There's no way that they were tracking the person through the wall. I think this has to be unranked. What was the Ash doing? from accidentally crouching. Funny number. Not terrible aim, but not great. Uh, nothing suspicious there, I guess. If he goes off here and gets a shit ton of kills, I'm gonna guess that it's because the enemy team, since they're up, or they were up 3-0, to zero, is just like, fuck it, let's have some fun and, like, meme on them. That's the only thing I can think of. Also, now... They team killed their clash and all have reverse friendly fire. Loyalty is, as far as I'm aware, the only one who's not with them, and he's keeping them in the game. He has seven kills, the rest of his team has four. Okay, five.
I don't think I've ever actually looked down there when aiming over there. I always look straight at the balcony, but kind of melee and didn't aim down sight right away. It's a wide field of view. The ash just ran past, ran into sight. I guess my only concern here is you would be able to hear Ash sprinting. How does he just know that she sprinted into sight and ran around? You do have the found the bomb, which I guess if you're really assuming stuff, you could be like, okay, I'm assuming they ran through and they got to the other side and they found both bombs. I feel like that'd be a very weird assumption to make, but it could have been right. And they're basically going to be feeding him kills. Because I think he had only like four or three in attack, and now he's at nine. They were going to go to the left and switch to the right. That's what I'm saying. What I find weird is like they just assumed correctly that the ash went into the left site. But instead of going to the left side where the ash was, because like, let's say ash runs in from 90 into deer and is looking over at the other site shooting people, you can then peek from hallway to deer and kill them and get a free kill. But instead ran over to statue. That's weird. In my opinion. There's a knife kill. It was the Ash. She was the one who tried to knife Thunderbird before. So we know she tries to knife people. They're just memeing, I guess, but... It's it's hard to tell because, like, half of the people are throwing in this lobby. And it seems like the other half aren't. So, like, are they cheating or are they just getting a lot of free kills because this team is just throwing like crazy? And, like, the only reason I can say I can understand that they might not have been cheating there with the Ash in the previous round is just because I've done similar things where I am, like, sitting off site and I see enemy has discovered the bomb. Enemy has discovered the bomb. I'm like, oh, shit, they're on site. So I run back because I'm like, I know that they're not on drone. I know that they ran in. It just seems weird that you go to the, like, to the right site instead of the left site. I feel bad for these three, because it feels like they really want to win. But Delirium's ghost just does not care and is throwing. And I'm sure this is unranked, so... They probably really don't care. But if this is ranked, then they're a piece of shit. Does Siege even run on Linux? I don't think so. Most games don't. Steam tried to standardize Linux, but I don't think it'll ever really take off. you obsessed with breaking all the glass. Ash is still just running in. Got another knife kill. Got another knife kill. What? Bro, what rank are these players? Smoke? Are you good? Excuse me? He just didn't even notice. Okay. Unless, okay, fan theory, chat. I'm gonna be using my gigabrain for this. Okay, here's my theory. Ash is also cheating, using an invisibility hack to go around knifing people. Unlucky for Ash, that loyalty is using a wall hacks sheet so they can see the invisible Ash who's running through and knifing people, and that's why Loyalty is the only one who can ever kill Ash. It's 
sprinting in, no drone, no cover. It's a bold move, but you can catch the enemy off guard if you just try to play super aggressive. No cover on the left side. Sorry, I had to cough real bad. No one on his team is on drones. So I, I don't sound whore in this game, so I, I genuinely don't know. Would you be able to hear that vigil walking? They weren't slow walking. They weren't sprinting. They were just stand walking, like standard walking. Would you be able to hear them? Because if so, that makes sense. But I'm trying to think, and like, I don't think I would have heard them. But I also don't play with max volume. Cap. Yeah, he's not checking any angles at all, which is what I find weird. And then he turns around and looks at the vigil, which I'm like, eh, if he heard him, sure. But I don't think he would have heard someone there. They tried to do a 360. Again, haven't seen anything obvious, so if they are cheating, it's incredibly subtle. Like, at this point, they must be using, like, slight walls or toggle walls and just only shooting when they can explain it. Maybe? I don't know. Otherwise, I don't think they're cheating. Again, it's hard to tell. His team is clearly throwing. Half of the enemy team is clearly throwing. So when he's getting all these kills, is he getting good people or is he getting people who aren't even trying? Probably getting people who aren't even trying. So, I don't know. <clears throat> I guess we'll find out here. Imagine we watch all of this and he just starts fucking flying and spin botting across the map. Imagine if he just wasted all of our time. Okay, so they killed the knifer. Wait, what? Hold on. That C4 didn't kill him? Or who was it? Oh, Yana? Didn't kill Yana? How? Bruh. I've been killed by explosions from further away with stuff in the way. But Yana doesn't take a lick of damage from this. Like, what? Okay, that was a nice split. Didn't look suspicious because the aim was kind of all over the place. His hacks of C4 doesn't work. Oh my god, you're right. Everyone's hacking. Or loyalty's hacks break a C4. Who knows? Friend died to a grenade through a reinforced wall. That's what I'm saying. Like, I died to random shit like that all the time. And this guy's not dying to a C4 that's right next to him. There'll be someone out there saying like, oh, actually this is realistic because C4 is actually neutralized by concrete walls that it touches. Like, no. Bullshit. I'm very patient of the bandits to just sit here and hold instead of pushing up or peeking. I'm not gonna lie, I would be pretty tempted to just walk right up. But sitting perfectly still, watching and waiting. 
still nothing. Even when they run away, Bandit doesn't walk around to go. Oh, never mind. That would have been the 20 bomb right there. 19 kills. I just want to see who wins. Oh, imagine losing with 19 kills because your team is trash. Okay, I don't think they were cheating. I didn't see anything that was evident of cheating. We'll look up their stats and then I guess draw from there. Uh, platinum player, consistently platinum for a while, gold before that, bronze before that. Bronze, gold 4, gold 4, gold 4, gold 3, silver somehow, unranked, gold 3, gold 1, plat 3, plat 2, plat 2, plat 2, plat 1. Steadily increasing over time, KD is still all over the place though, look, like some seasons 0 0.89, 0 0.81, and then it goes up to a 1.52 last season. 0 0.8 to 1.5 is pretty high. And I get that there's less matches this season, but like 48 matches is still a lot. Like 49 matches and they had a 0 0.97 KD. So weird, inconsistent KD. But from what we saw, there wasn't really anything to be suspicious of. So probably not cheating. Which means that so today we only really watched five matches. And of them, two were cheating? Only two out of five? I can't remember. At least we got to see some new hacks. Hacks that let you uh, throw stuff outside during prep phase. That's, that's insane. What will they think of next?